Mr. West. Uh, thank you very much, Speaker. I'm uh, pleased to rise on behalf of the people I represent in London West to join the debate on Bill 68, the Voting Hours Extension Act introduced by the member for Scarborough Southwest. So this is a short bill, Speaker. In fact, I think it's one of the shortest bills I've seen since I was first elected. It revises the Municipal Elections Act to extend voting hours from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. And certainly it's hard to, uh, to argue against this change. Uh, making it easier for people to exercise their right to vote is always a good thing. Making it easier for people to participate in the democratic process, making it easier for people to cast a ballot and have a say on what happens in their community. And uh, there is research to, uh, to show that making voting more convenient does encourage more people to vote. So it is possible that keeping the polls open one hour longer could increase voting voter turnout in municipal elections. But the research also shows that this kind of reform, this kind of tinkering around the edges has only limited and marginal impact. The bill is not a game changer for democratic participation, not by any stretch of the imagination. What would be a game changer, what would really invigorate and strengthen local democracy is proportional representation. The problem is not that the polls close at 8 p.m., the problem is the system of voting, whether at the municipal, provincial or federal level. The problem is the winner-takes-all or first-past-the-post system, which has the same basic flaws at every level of government. People don't feel that their votes count. People don't feel that their issues matter, and this is particularly the case for young people who were mentioned by the member for Scarborough for the Southwest. People don't like the negative and adversarial campaigning that goes along with First Past the Post, and most importantly, too often the people who get elected do not reflect the diversity of the people they represent. So the solution to these flaws is proportional representation. A study of 36 democracies over 55 years found that countries using proportional voting systems had a 7.5 increase or 7.5 percent increase in voter turnout. They had government policies that were more reflective of the median voter. They had citizens who felt more satisfied with democracy even when their candidate or their party did not win. And most importantly, they had an 8 percent increase in the number of women elected. And why is electing women more why is it important to elect more women? Because we make better decisions when we hear a diversity of views, when we have different people around the table bringing different experiences and perspectives to bear on the issues at hand. And we know that many of the policies that we talk about in this place have very different impacts on women compared to men. Women continue to earn 30 percent less than men. They continue to be overrepresented in minimum wage jobs. They continue continue to be involuntary part-time workers because they can't get childcare. They continue to experience violence from male abusers. After the last election, in, uh, provincially, it was encouraging to see that we are making progress here in Ontario. We are electing more women even under first past the post. I'm especially proud that within the NDP caucus, we elected a majority of women MPPs, a first for Ontario and I believe for Canada. However, However, it will take years, even decades, at the rate we are going to achieve gender parity with women holding 50 percent of elected offices in Canada. When we look to Europe, we see easily that the best way, the surest way to get more women elected is through proportional representation. During the last parliament, my former NDP colleague Jonah Shine proposed an alternative voting system for the City of Toronto, and many of you were here for the debate in this legislature about a ranked ballot system. Even though the legislation was specific to Toronto, I have to tell you that the possibility of changing the way citizens vote in municipal elections in Ontario galvanized people in my riding of London West. I must have received over 100 emails from constituents who were eager for change and excited by the prospect of electoral reform, excited by the prospect of engaging more citizens and building a stronger democracy. The last 
last time electoral reform was on the table in Ontario was in 2003, when the Liberals formed a citizen's assembly to look at alternatives to first past the post. After consulting widely, the assembly proposed mixed member proportional representation, which would have allowed voters to vote for both the candidate and the party, the system that is currently in place in Germany and New Zealand. The referendum on the proposal was unfortunately completely botched by both the Liberal government and Elections Ontario. With minimal budget, no real effort was put into educating the public about the proposal and about the issues involved, and as a result, the referendum failed. So, by all means, let's go ahead and keep municipal polling stations open one hour longer. We certainly don't oppose this bill, but I have to say we are very disappointed by the missed opportunity this bill represents. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you for the debate.